Take the hard courses, he said. At least you'll never be bored. But he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to an older brother. The advice was a friend to an older brother, but I always loved to eavesdrop as a little sister. <laughs> and I never wanted to be bored. So I kept that in mind. It has been a mantra all my life to take the hard courses because I've never been bored. Six miles wide and 19 miles long is the island of Aruba. I was born the last of six children to a Dutch mother and a Franco-British father from another island who came to Aruba to work in the oil refineries, what Aruba was known for then, refining oil from Venezuela. But my father had wanderlust, and in about six years, he moved the family to about six different islands in the Caribbean. By the time I was the age 19 and moved to the United States, I had already gone to so many schools and lived in so many places that I could hardly count. But I was never bored because I remembered to take the hard courses. My parents did not even have a sixth grade education, but they knew one thing, that if you can read, you can touch the world. That's what they told us. And so all of us, by the age of six years old, there was this ritual that we would have. We would take into the public library of whatever island we were living in at the time, and we would get a library card. And we could get books. It is significant tonight I'm telling my story at a library. It's my favorite place because I could climb up a mango tree with a book and I could be anywhere in the world and I could see anything and I could be anything. Take the hard courses. At least you'll never be bored. I loved school. I loved learning. I loved learning everything. My interest in STEM came late. I consider myself a late bloomer because I remember that particularly in, in elementary school and also in high school, I didn't care too much about math. I couldn't really understand why there was always this guy looking for an X and why I had to solve his problem. <laughs> and then there was also always another man digging a hole and, and um, digging a hole 18 feet deep and how long it would take if you got three men. Well, I didn't care about digging holes. I love climbing trees. And, um, or there was a story with trains, you know, one train is leaving the depot in one side of, of the state and another one, and at what time they're going to cross. Well, in the islands, there were no trains, so why should I care about trains? <laughs> at the age of 16, I finished high school, and I still did not know what I wanted to be, and everybody said, well, you should be a doctor. And, um, and, I, and meaning doctor, meaning a physician, and, and I wasn't really sure that I wanted to be a physician because I was afraid of blood and I did not know how I would be a physician. But went to college on the island of Trinidad my freshman year and um, took a biology course and, and, um, and actually the, 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 se the section on um, one cell organisms got me fascinated with one cell organisms and I said, you know what? I am going to be a protozoologist. And so that was what I was going to do, doing biology with the idea of being a protozoologist. But I had to take a psychology course he was the shortest adult man I have ever seen in my life, <laughs> Dr. C. P. Shim. But he was the greatest intellect that I've probably ever met in my life, and a master teacher. And he opened up a door to me to realize, Eureka, I have found it. That is what I want to be. I want to be a psychologist. I want to study human behavior. I want to understand the mind. I want to understand people. I want to know what makes people tick. And so I changed my mind from protozoology, but in the Caribbean at the time, there, wasn't any, there weren't any psychologists. And so I came to this country and I went to uh, H, um, B, um, CBU or HBCU, Oakwood University, and I majored in psychology, and that is where I fell in love with mathematics. For some reason, I had an amazing math teacher that I had, it was a math course I had to take, but more importantly, I fell in love with statistics. Dr. Earl Gooding taught me statistics. 
And I realized that math was not about finding X's and trains and digging holes, but it was a vehicle that I could ride to answer questions about the world that I wanted to know about. And so I, be, I loved statistics and I realized that I can use statistics as a tool to answer questions about human behavior and my mind was opened up to research. And I went to Andrews University and continued um, working on an educational psychology degree and then I got a fellowship to the University of Minnesota. And I remembered what I had heard the advice of my brother take the hard courses and so when everyone else was looking for the easiest way out, I was taking multidimensional scaling and orthogonal factors and differential equations and advanced matrix algebra, and I realized how much I enjoyed it because I realized that I could use math to answer questions about human behavior. And so today, I am professor of psychology and the coordinator of the psychobiology program at Southern Adventist University. Since the year 2000, when I joined the staff, the faculty at Southern Adventist University, I have been, I have sponsored and guided more than 250 students in independent research projects. I enjoy teaching research. I enjoy teaching statistics. I enjoy letting students know that if you put your heart in it, if you put your mind to it, it can take you anywhere. Take the hard courses. At least you will never be bored. And so I just want to end on um, borrowing from H.G. Wells that the past my past, I see it, is only the beginning of my beginning. And all that is and has been is simply the twilight of my dawn. Because the time is going to come, and the time is coming, it has been, and it is coming, when students who are still latent in my imaginations and hidden in my advanced statistics curriculum, these women who will come to Southern Adventist University or wherever I am teaching and learn that you can use math and you can use things quantitative to answer questions about the deepest aspects, the last frontier of human behavior, the last frontier of, of exploration, which is the human brain, and it can help you answer questions that one day they too can laugh and reach their hands amid the stars. I want you and them always to remember there's great satisfaction. Take the hard courses, you'll never be bored.